hey guys and welcome back to my channel so i know this is a different format than my usual videos but i thought this would be the best way for me to explain this topic to you so i've been receiving a lot of dms asking where can i study nursing i want to do this course do i do it at a university or college or people that have been wanting to do the four-year degree but are applying in colleges i'm like no that's wrong and all of that jazz so i thought this would be the best way for me to explain that to you so the three main things that i'm going to be focusing in this video is the three different nursing courses that we have in south africa where can you do these courses and the basic entry requirements that are required of you okay so before we start anything there's a few things that you need to make sure when you are applying for university so according to sang they made the statement it is imperative that learners make sure that the institution whether they'll be trained as a nurse or a midwife is accredited by the south african nursing council and that the training program is also accredited by the nursing council if either is not accredited the nursing council will not recognize any of the training the learner has received so if your university or college is not recognized by sank and if your course is not recognized by sank will not take you as a learner and if you've done it for four years and the institution you're at is not accredited by sank they're just like sorry we do not know you so please make sure that the course and the university or college that you'll be going to is accredited by sank down in the description box i've given you a link where you can go check on the same website if your university all college is accredited by sank and if the degree that you're going to be doing is according to sank requirements anyway let us get into this video this is the general breakdown of the different nursing degrees that we have and their whole requirements so first of all if in general you just want to be a nurse there's three different routes that you can go down you can go down the registered nurse route you can go down the general nurse route or the staff nurse as we called it back in the day and then you've got your auxiliary nurse or your enrolled nurse assistant so for you to be a registered nurse, you need to have a Bachelor of Nursing degree, which you can only get at a university. So because of the new nursing degree that SANC has put in, that's only degree that you can do to be a registered nurse and you graduate as a professional nurse and midwife and it can only be received at a university. So if you apply at a college, you will be getting a completely different degree. So the next course that you can do is a diploma in nursing where you graduate as a general nurse or what we used to call a staff nurses and this you can get it in a private or a public college and the degree is a diploma in nursing. So if you apply at a college, you automatically be enrolled in the diploma of nursing where you graduate as a general nurse. So if you're wanting to be a registered nurse, please make sure that you're applying at a university and not at a college. And then the other course that you can do is a higher certificate in nursing where you graduate as an auxiliary nurse or an ENA. And this you can get it at a private or a public college, but it's mostly private colleges that offer this degree. So please make sure that first of all, you decide what type of nurse you're wanting to be. Do you want to be a registered nurse, a general nurse, or an auxiliary nurse? And as a result, this will give you the pathway that you need to go down, whether you're doing a bachelor in nursing, a diploma in nursing, or a higher certificate in nursing. So the next thing that you need to know, so obviously to do each different course, there's different entry requirements that are expected of you. So if you want to do a bachelor in nursing, it's a four-year degree that you do at a university and you're required to have English, life sciences and mathematics. These are a must and they must all be above 50%. But like I've mentioned in my previous videos, do not aim for your minimum requirements because nursing is such a competitive field to enter. You do not want to meet the minimum requirements because you're going to meet people that have got 70s 80s in all their subjects and obviously take the top students first before they take everyone else so always make sure that you are above the minimum requirements and the most common universities that people apply to to do the bachelor of nursing would be the cape peninsula university of technology or known as cpu team or cput and then you've got the university of western cape which is uwc where i'm at and then you've got stellenbosch and and then i've seen this question a lot does uc have nursing according to sang no uct does not offer any nursing degree and then if you want to do a diploma in nursing it's a three-year course that you do at a college and you need english life sciences and mathematics 
and for this one you need 50 percent for english and then 40 percent for your life sciences and mathematics and the colleges that you can do this at the most common ones is the western cape college of nursing and the northwest college of nursing but pretty much every single province in south africa has its own different um college of nursing that it has then obviously different campuses offer different programs so for example with some campuses it will offer both the diploma and higher certificate and some campuses only offer just the diploma of nursing so please make sure that you go down in the description box and you click on the link so you can go see where the area that you're staying in what course they offer and obviously which program you will be enrolled under and then i also get this question do i need physical sciences no physical sciences is not a must but biology of life sciences is definitely a must in addition to your english and mathematics and then your higher certificate in nursing this is a one-year degree and then you need obviously english life sciences and mathematics with english over 50 percent and life sciences and mathematics over 40 percent and the most common areas where you can get this course is at your private institutions but you can also get it at a public college but the most common ones is your mediclinic net care and your life college of nursing they mostly offer that higher certificate of nursing and it's pretty much just a one year and you'll be doing general nursing services so this is it this is the whole explanation of where you can apply to study nursing depending on the type of course that you want to do you can click over here you can see the video that i did on the different nursing ranks that we have in south africa and that will tell you after you graduate what your duties and roles would be in that nursing course depending on what course you're doing if you have any more questions regarding where you can study and all of that just definitely comment down below in the description box but if you just want to know where you can study nursing the ones that are accredited by sang and the courses that are accredited by sang definitely go down in the description box it's the very first link that you see and it will lead you to all the different colleges universities and private institutions that are accredited by sang thank you guys so much for watching this video.